click on the bell. Once the bell is clicked, you will get all notification. Thank you. Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Subs Cooking. Today I'm going to share with you almond roasted lemon pepper chicken drumstick. They are very delicious, very tasty and please try it. And if you like this recipe, please subscribe Easy Steps and please like this video. And without wasting any time, let's start with the ingredients. I'm going to use uh, chicken drumstick. This is a five pound. I'm going to use a lemon pepper. 2 tablespoon, 1 tablespoon ginger paste and 1 tablespoon garlic paste, quarter teaspoon orange red color, deggy mirch will be 1 tablespoon, I'm going to use uh, parsley flakes, 1 tablespoon, 3 quarter cup I'm going to use uh, homemade yogurt, 1 tablespoon olive oil, get a mixing bowl, I'm going to bring 1 teaspoon salt and that is according to taste, I'm going to bring 2 tablespoon lemon pepper, deggy mirch, one tablespoon, quarter teaspoon color. So we're going to mix it. Once it's nicely combined, we're going to bring garlic, ginger, and yogurt. It's a homemade yogurt. How do I make homemade yogurt? Please watch my other video. We're going to mix it well. Once it's nicely mixed, I'm going to bring olive oil one tablespoon we're going to mix it well olive oil is nicely mixed with the masala now we're going to bring parsley one tablespoon so once it's nicely combined i took out the skin on each drumstick i'm going to make a nice cut you can make a two cut or three cut so i'm going to place it in so i have a 16 pieces which is five pound of chicken drumstick nice deep cut the whole reason we are making cuts so the our masala the marination can go inside and once it's gonna go inside when we're going to eat drumstick when we're going to eat the drumstick it's going to taste better so I'm going to finish up all of these all pieces are cut and now we're going to mix with our marination and now this is really important you can use a hand or you can use a pair of thong and we're going to make sure that it's nicely coated with lemon pepper all the marination goes inside the cut so i'm going to mix it so our chicken is nicely marinated we're going to cover with the plastic wrap and we're going to put it in the fridge for four hours if you want to do it in a rush give marination at least two hours we place the plastic wrap and now we're going to put it in the fridge for four hours so the marination can take place our tray is ready and we marinated our chicken for two hours and now i'm going to place the chicken into our tray so we're going to place chicken like this, one facing this way, one facing the other way. So all the masala, we're going to put it on top of the chicken. And it's all done, now we're going to go to our oven. I have my oven preheated at 500 degree Fahrenheit, 260 degree Celsius. And we're going to cook it for 20 minutes. Then after 20 minutes, I'm going to come back. I'm going to turn the chicken over. Since we marinated the chicken with the yogurt, it's going to release all the water. So we're going to place it in the middle there. And after 20 minutes, we're going to turn them over. It's exactly 20 minutes. It's a nice and bubbly chicken looking really nice. Take the tray out and I'm going to put it on a countertop on a table and then I'm going to turn the whole chicken pieces over and uh, then I'll bring it back and the whole reason I'm going to do that because if I try to do it here then it's going to be too hot and also the temperature of oven will go down so I'll open it just be careful when you're taking it out look at this wow nice I'm going to turn all the pieces over Look at how beautiful it's looking. We turn the pieces over. Now we're going to place that in on the middle rack. And now we're going to give 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, we're going to see more water in there. Then we're going to start the broil and we're going to cook it until it dries up. It's looking really delicious. 
cooking our chicken additional 15 minutes looking nicely done there is no more water I'm going to turn up the bake and I'm going to start the broil so I'm going to start and we're going to broil it for 10 minutes once we're going to see the nice texture on the top but I'm going to keep watching if it's 7 minutes or 8 minutes done then I'll turn it off so we said uh, we're going to broil for 10 minutes but it's exactly 7 minutes it's nicely done and I'm going to turn off the oven. So we did the broil for seven minutes. If we want, we can take it out right now, it's all done. But if you're not in a rush, you can let it sit more, five minutes, then it's gonna get more crunchier. But at this moment, I'm going to take it out. I'm really, you know, hungry. I wanted to eat it. So I'm going to take it out right now. Wow, oh, look at this nice beautiful our very tasty and delicious lemon pepper chicken oven roasted is all ready please try it and i'm sure you're going to like it if you like it like always like share and subscribe easy steps cooking thank you and have a good day bye bye